Okay, we have an article here from the Gateway Pundit. It's about Game of Thrones! Game of Thrones has officially jumped the shark. Uh, that is an old reference to happy days when the Fonz rode a motorcycle heroically over a shark in a tank. And that was the end of the quality of that show. If it ever had quality to begin with. Now I might get some shade for that. I know there's a lot of people who like Opie. Uh, they think Opie is great. They love his brother. Uh, you know, mangled Opie. Uh, disaffected Opie. Bald Opie. Okay, here we have an article by the Gateway Pundit. It's about Game of Thrones, which seems to be popular these days on the internets. I don't know why that would be. Uh, I did see an episode uh, a few weeks ago when I was visiting a friend in another state. Uh, but when I say see, uh, I'm using air quotes because it was so dark that I couldn't tell what was going on. And then I'm pretty sure uh, after seeing the synopses, the various synopses all over YouTube, that I didn't really miss much. I think I remember uh, Jorah. Uh, he, uh, well, he died. And then I think I remember, uh, Theon, uh, yeah, he died too. And then I think I remember, um, Arya, uh, she killed the Night King. Is that his name? I don't even know. I don't know a lot about him. Uh, I don't think anybody really does. And he's dead, so it doesn't really matter. They snoked him. But anyway, uh, this seems to be uh, very scientific. It's got a uh, chart here. It's got a graph. There's lots of different colors. That's nice. Uh, I support all of the colors of the rainbow. Uh, no color should be left behind out of the rainbow, even gray. You see gray on the far right side of that chart there, that uh, graph. That's a great color. I love gray. It's a mixture of black and white, just like I am. That's racist. I know, I know. But you know, I must have some kind of internalized racism because, uh, yeah, I tend not to think at all like uh, most of the people that you see of the melanated persuasion on television. Uh, I don't do those things. I don't know those things. I live in a basement underneath my mother's house. And I'm a virgin and I have a beard on my neck. And I'm black. Try to reconcile that in your cognition. Okay, here we go. So we got a chart. Um, I'm looking at this chart. Uh, oh, this article is by Joseph Curl. Uh, that's a great name. He looks like a great guy, although he is white. And he does look like a man. So, uh, definitely a Nazi. Definitely confirmed uh, Nazi. All right, so here's that graph in all of its wonderful glory. The downfall of Game of Thrones rating. Now, I didn't do any research before this video. I don't have a script. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at this chart here. And it looks like uh, in season one, people had a problem with Ned Stark dying. In season two, uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe uh, they didn't like Joffrey or something was going on there uh, in the second episode and then the last episode of that season. Season three, I think that's the Red Wedding. Uh, I don't know if people's emotions are driving their votes or not. But look at that drop. You see that drop? Whoa. Whoa. That is below 80. That's below a B. That's a C right there. Solid C. And then we got season four over here in the red. We got season five. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened there. Was it the castration scene? Was that when Theon lost his manhood? I have no clue. Please correct me in the comments below. Please tell me I don't know at all what I'm talking about. It's probably the case. I, you know, the, the honest thing, I'm going to be honest with you all out there right now. I read 
all five of the books that George R. R. Martin wrote. The Song of Ice and Fire. I read all five. But with the show, um, yeah, somewhere around season four, I just, uh, it, it didn't appeal to me. I th Actually, you know what? I can pinpoint it down. I don't know the exact season because, again, I'm hazy. I don't own HBO. I don't really care to own HBO. Uh, HBO is a great place, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they have quality shows. Maybe they don't. But what I will say is uh, Jon Snow is lying in the snow. Uh, he's been stabbed by a number of his brothers in the back. Uh, that's where the book is, I believe. So I think what I did was I stopped watching at that point. I was like, this is obviously fantasy world. Uh, none of this is real. But I am kind of intrigued. Uh, you know, tangentially, from a far off distance, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, how are these two mother effers going to get this thing together? Uh, D.B. Benioff and D.B. Weiss or D. Benioff and D.B. Weiss? D.B.? The two DBs, how are they going to get this done? This is a pressing concern for me because what I am thinking about, what I am wondering about is uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Now, this is a, a total tangent. This is a total uh, segue into Knights of the Old Republic, but it is linked because Benioff and Weiss are making a trilogy for Lucasfilm. Now, there's a lot of rumors about what that trilogy could be. But, you know, if you think about it logically, it can't really be many different things. They're not going to go forward because no one gives a shit. And the prequels happened, and I guess those were pretty popular, uh, you know, 20 years after the fact, 10 years after the fact, when the memes came out. But when the movies came out, you know, everybody saw them three times or whatever, and they were like, eh, that's you know kind of like junk food it's kind of cool you know you eat a big mac it doesn't look like the picture on the board at the mcdonald's you look at the picture that looks amazing you know that's like michelangelo sistine chapel picture each sesame seed is placed perfectly on the bun yes sesame seed i'm talking about big macs right here by the way i don't have sponsorship but if mcdonald's does want to sponsor me i could work for french fries. I bet a lot of you right now are trying to imagine my weight, my girth, my impressive bulk. Can't you tell that I am so fat that I can't even get out of bed? It's like my favorite show, um, My 600 Pound Life. I like it better than Game of Thrones. Don't worry, I'll get back to Game of Thrones, but I want to tell you something. If you really want to experience tragedy, Watch a show like My 600 Pound Life, where no show has a successful conclusion. No show shows you how these people fared. No, you know what they do? They show you their terrible life, mired in this bed, just eating tons of food. Their children have to roll them over and clean them. Oh, I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're watching too much YouTube. But then, Dr. Now comes in, he's always going to tell him, you know, oh, you're too fat. You need to move to Houston. You need to buy an apartment. You need to move some people down here so you don't die before the uh, operation. And you need to lose, you know, 100 pounds. It's always the same. Television is great. It's always the same. Every episode is the same. And I think this is what Game of Thrones has missed. Game of Thrones, each episode is different. And that's a problem. People don't like difference. They like the same thing just look at all the brie larson videos right i mean you can post a brie larson video and you can get millions of views for some reason you know what i think i have a theory on brie larson i will get back to game of thrones i can hear you shouting in the cheap seats huh eh? like my friend occasional cortex says from the cheap seats you're shouting i can hear it it's fine if you don't like my rambling style Peace be unto you, my friend. Enjoy your sojourn. Anyway, as I was saying, I think the reason people are so interested in Brie Larson on YouTube is because she reminds them of themselves. That's right, gentlemen. 
I think she's an artist. You know, she had a failed music career. Uh, she's been acting since she was six. French is a great language, by the way. It, it used to be the lingua franca of the world. Now, isn't that weird? We have to use a Latin term that basically means French language to describe a common language that people talked around the world. That's how impactful French was. And that's the crux of it. That's how popular French was. But you know, once we got American on this scene, right? And people talk about America ain't never been great. How are you going to say that? You know what I'm saying? How are you going to say America ain't never been great when American culture is black culture? And are you trying to tell me that the blues and jazz and rock and roll and rap aren't great? What other country could they have been uh, created in? What other country could they have been created in? What other country in the world can black people have such a leg up in the world? Look at Steph Curry. He's so rich that his wife can go on a talk show and say she's upset. She's upset because men won't look at her anymore. They won't size her up. They won't look at her and be like, hey, hey, baby, let me roll up in them DMs. Yo, I think you're kind of cute. I know you're married to Steph Curry, but he ain't got nothing on me because I work down at the Five and Dime. I work at the Family General store. Yo, I'm a manager there. I'm the, I'm the shift manager. 